Magic Mail Tuesday because some of us can't get our act together on a Monday. But this is an epic Magic Mail filled with vintage, European vintage, plush, pins. We got it all. So hurry back. Just an 80s boy and a 90s teen. Going on all things Disney. From miles to parks and in between. Come share the magic with me. La 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 la. La 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 la. Live your life to a Disney tune. Come and share Jake's Disney afternoon. Hey Disney Afternoon Gang, welcome back to my channel and thanks for returning. If you're new here, my name is Jake and I do all kinds of Disney content including subscription boxes, haul swaps, videos, trips. If it's Disney, we're doing it. So you're going to want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next Disney adventure. Alright gang, I have got a pile of mail here and I am excited to get into this because some goodness that I've been sitting on for a little while. So uh, let's do the modern stuff first. Let's, let's, you know, let's build up to the reason we're all here. So I got a little bit of Shop Disney haul. Um, you know, like Shop Disney is like one of the last places I tend to think about ordering from. I don't know why. Um, so this is an ornament, and look at how these are packaged now. Now, maybe they've been packaged like this way for a while, but uh, I haven't bought since probably last year. Oh, yes. This is a much better system. So, Shop Disney, you're killing it. Okay, so this is the 35th anniversary of DuckTales. Woo so we've got Scrooge diving in. This is an ornament. It's got the 35th medallion. It has got that famous logo on the back. This was, I also got in one of my other Magic Mails a week or so ago. These came in oddly separate packages, but um, there's a pin, the sketchbook series pin that they had that goes with this. But of course I had to have the ornament to celebrate our favorite Scrooge diving into his money pit. So super excited to have that for the holiday season all right i'll pack this up later this is definitely a better system so <sighs> the older you get the more you're excited to get about silly things like packaging all right in that um same order another ducktales pin man the vintage love is real so this is a spinner pin and I think it's the logo on the back. Ugh, can't remember now. But let's find out really quickly. So, of course, it's got the TV that I love. Oh, yeah. DuckTales 35th anniversary. I'm sort of a little disappointed that they use this yellow logo, which is more reminiscent of the newer logo rather than the red and orange from the day. But you know what? We're getting Disney Afternoon Love 40 years on practically. Uh, and... Who am I to complain? I mean, if you know me, I'm going to complain anyway, but still. Okay, that'll go nicely on the board. And then I think, oh yeah, last thing. This is not something typical I would buy, but again, it's Disney Afternoon Love and I got to support it. And it was on like super clearance because like nobody but me, I think, wanted it. Um, it is a key flare, key dangle, majangle, and I'll have to figure out how I'm going to use it, but... It is Chippendale's Rescue Ranger. So we've got um, the shirt, Dale's shirt and Chip's hat. And we've got the in uh, on the famous acorn there on this keychain. So maybe I'll use that for work keys or maybe my car keys. Although I'm afraid I drop my car off in a garage every night and I'm afraid uh, maybe they'll steal it. Nobody wants it but me. So anyway... Says it's a bag charm. I don't really do the bag charms. Oops. So, again, super cool that this new merch is coming out. And that takes care of the old Shop Disney. Uh, okay. So, I've got a couple other things here. I've got a few more pins I want to show you because they needed to be... Lo Ugh. These are so good. These are from uh, Rabbit Hole Designs. They're in... I think they're in the UK. Okay, sure. Yeah, United Kingdom. 
Um, and this is a fantasy, two fantasy pins. And they might have had more in this series, but I only got two. And you're going to see why in just a minute. So eat your heart out, everybody, because look at that cluster of flower pins. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it's huge. I mean, it's a giant pin. Uh, we've got the iris and the dandelions, the rose, uh, the white rose, uh, the daisy. Uh, there it is. So good. I think they made all of these characters individually as a set based on similar designs, but I had to have the cluster and I need not introduce what I'm about to introduce. Look at my girl, the Iris. Another good size pin, but similar design to the one that she is in the cluster. Um, but yeah, I had to have her. A lot of flower love lately. So thank you. Uh, rabbit hole designs. I'm definitely going to be coming back to you for more. And then these are from uh, Jesse. I'm going to have to remember how I know Jesse. Jesse, did you reach out to me on Instagram? Or did I reach out to you? Oh, it's bad, man. It's bad. Um, but she did. Uh, maybe I just bought these outright. These are from our universe. And so we've got um, some pins. We've got this one from uh, Oliver and Company, and this is when they're sort of stopping traffic a little bit in the Why Should I Worry number. And then there is a, a Goofy movie, the kind of logo. So I do have a Goof Troop and Goofy movie collection, and uh, we've got more of it here. Welcome to Spoonerville. Uh, you've got Max and um, Goofy and Roxanne and... Uh, Pete's son's name is... Hey, man. Tell me in the comments. Anyway, um, so thank you for getting these to me. They might have just been selling them. I don't remember. <sighs> the shopping is real. And then we've got um, this package here from my dear friend... Meg, who is so good to me and such a good, such a good egg, that Meg. Um, definitely go check her out. If you don't know her, I'll leave her channel. Oh, this is a cool card. I'll leave her channel linked down below. Uh, and uh, this is from uh, Treasure Planet. Sorry. It's been a long day. Uh, hello, Jake. Here are the Disney afternoon clips you were looking for. Meg, Meglet is a geek. And she opened a bunch of those Disney afternoon clips and sent me the ones I didn't have or most of the ones I didn't have because she's too awesome. Um, she sent a couple of stickers here. There's a uh, Mr. Potato Head and I think it's Rex, Rexy, Terexy, Trexy. Oh, it's Alice. Ha! Not even close. All right. My girl, Alice. Um, thank you for those. And we have got Goliath from Gargoyles. So he is super cool. Uh, I opened six bags. Uh, I got six for six. Um, I gave a Scrooge away. I bought one more bag. I happened to get the Scrooge. So I'm still short a few of these. Oh, look. There's a Cheshire sticker that got mixed in, too. Um... Then we've got Launchpad McQuack, one of my favorite characters. He's a little flat in my opinion, compared to like, if you look at De uh, Chip here, who I love, he's a little bit more, see the difference? Oh, sorry. Um, but these are awesome. These I may put on my bag. Meg, you're too cool for school. Thank you for sending the love over. I appreciate it immensely. Uh, before I forget, uh, today, Tuesday, is the last day to enter the giveaway for the Villains Box. If you missed that video, I've started. Uh, it's not really a subscription box. It's kind of like a seasonal one-time, two-time-a-year thing. Uh, with my mom, we're doing handcrafted decor items. So I'll leave the video linked up above if you missed it. There are 18 other channels reviewing. Definitely you want to check them out. Definitely purchase a box because my mom is... 
an insane creator and you definitely definitely wanted uh you know be a part of that um but if you missed it i'm giving away one of our villains boxes for our halloween month so you can enter it at that video today midnight that's it so if you don't watch my videos the day they come out you missed out okay i got this plush Look at this epic Jake from Rescuers Down Under plush. First of all, he is in gorgeous condition. You've got like this rope detail and these like sewn costumes. Now, here's the thing. I didn't do as much research on this as I should have, but it does have the Disney uh, label on it. It's definitely vintage. I'm going to guess that this came out probably with the release of the film in 1990. You know, the pressure for these characters to not quite look um, like they do in the film was, you know, not as great because this is not really what he looks like. Um, but you know I love that film and I had to have this. It was an excellent price. I bought this on um, a Disney Collectibles group on Facebook, which if I can remember which one it was, I'll, I'll link it down below. But um, I love shopping there because it's a lot of vintage stuff. A lot of people who really know what they're talking about. And uh, this excellent, excellent condition vintage plush was there. You will see him in the background. So I am super happy to add him. All right, I've got two more things. We're getting vintageier and vintageier as we go. So let me start with this thing before I get to the big thing. Um, this is a catalog sent to me by my friend Janine. Uh, her Instagram is... Janine, I can never remember if it's Minnie Mouse Nurse or Nurse Minnie Mouse. I think it's Nurse Minnie Mouse. Anyway, she is uh, a good friend I've met through the internet um, some years back. She's in the UK. She loves vintage. She loves finding us things. Uh, I send her a lot of things. She sends me a lot of things that I end up shipping to her. Janine, I've got a pile of stuff that is coming your way, so... I haven't forgotten about you. Um, but I love collecting this kind of ephemera. This is a catalog, Peter Pan Playthings, bursting with bright ideas for 1986. And you know what I really love about this stuff is, um, this, this is, uh, this is a record. This is a record of a time that wasn't remembered in terms of just, uh, you know, provenance and where things came from and what year they were released. And it's like a history book uh, that gives us clues. And, you know, a lot of times um, we use these catalogs to find things that we have didn't know existed, didn't know were made. Uh, it's kind of like toy archaeology. Love it. So in this catalog, um, there's a bunch of Wuzzles things, which um, you know, I'm always on the hunt for, um, but there's a game called Equality. I just felt like the need to point it out. It's Scrabble, but with math. And you know, I would give up my American citizenship to be British any day of the week. But every once in a while, I'm like, oh, you guys make games out of math. So basically it's this Scrabble and that you have equal signs and numbers and functions and ah uh, except i kind of want to try it anyway thought that was interesting but there are a bunch of wuzzle things in here that i don't have there's a i think i actually do have this um kite but kites are a lot of fun i don't think i have that kite so again that's something uh i need to find and uh, here's some more. The UK really got a lot of our leftovers, but they got them in different licenses, meaning like they went to town on some of these things and really, uh, really made some cool products that we didn't get. Um, all right, Ginny, and I do not have this paper play set that has this 3D pop out. I need you on that. We got to find that. Janine has found me so many things over the years. Um, she's got this keen eye. Uh, I also need this roll, roll in color, Janine. So eyes out for that, my friend. Um, she definitely has bolstered my collection. So Janine, thanks for spending my money. Um, last thing, I also need this. So, you know, oh, look at these. These Wonder Wheel things. They like, I didn't see these. Is that what I was? 
No. Okay, we've got one more thing, Janine. It's these Wonder Wheel Play-Doh things. And look at you like roll them out. All right, Janine, we're on it. Um, this has been one of those odd journeys where like, who knew there was so much stuff? And the digger, the, the deeper we dig, the more we end up coming up with stuff. Um, so Janine, thanks for being on this journey with me. Your dear, dear friend. All right, last but not least in the vintage realm. And this you're going to lose your minds over. So buckle up. It's only been 14 minutes. You're fine. Drink your coffee or your wine. Um, I wore these ears who were uh, specifically, not only are they theme related. So we're looking at something tailspin. Uh, but these were given to me by my friend Ashley over at Hey Hey Let's Unbox. Who found this item, bid on it won two of them, one for her and one for me, and sent it to me. I paid for it, but she she did the work. So these, she got this dirt cheap. What did we pay for these? Like 37 bucks or something. They've gone for multiple hundreds and it's in its box. Let me take the, all right, let me show you because you're getting annoyed. It is the Don Carnage Plane. What? This is, so in uh, Europe, so there's two logos on here. There's this side, which says um, Tailspin, and this is probably the UK side, but, um, you know, they did double duty in European countries, and so um, this there's um, some fr uh, French on here, and it looks like sp uh, Spanish. So this side, uh, in non-English speaking, uh, European countries, it was called Super Blue. So there is some merch out there that is Super Blue, and that was the name of the show. Uh, I assume that Tailspin as sort of uh, the idea of planes that go into a tailspin and also spinning a tail of Once Upon a Time uh, doesn't really translate to other languages in the same kind of double meaning way. So they often give it more clear names um, in the overseas market. So Let's open this quickly because, I mean, it's in the box. Wrap up. Oh, I have been looking for one of these. I have the Sea Duck, which was the other um, vehicle they released. Now, the Disney Afternoon did not get a lot of uh, toy releases. Darkwing Duck and Tailspin were basically it with the exception of some PVC figures. Um, but in terms of, like, actual big... Um, Sort of the typical play stuff that you would expect from the late 80s and early 90s wasn't much um the uh, gummy bears also got sort of care bears remember the care bears that were like um i don't know four and three quarters or something uh all right oh, wow look girl you struck gold you know and ashley is overseas right now because her husband is stationed i think they're coming back soon but um, so she was able to bid uh, on UK eBay, which, you know, if you want to go into a downward spiral, that's where you go. All right, so it's got these, uh, what do you call these boat things that go on the end of planes because it's a sea boat, whatever it's called. Stickers are in pretty good condition, which is pretty rare for these toys. Um... You've got Don Carnage there. You've got the the plane. The cockpit opens up. Yes. This is amazing. Ashley, thank you for this. Super cool. Even better that it's in the box because, you know, I love collecting these. It's like I I, I, I want to I want all the pieces together to remember that time. I'm getting deeply philosophical now. It's late into the day, but um, I I want to be able to display these together someday in some museum where you all can pay me money to see all my 80s glorious treasures. Okay, that was today's Tuesday Magic Mail. Leave me a comment down below. Um, what was your favorite item from today? Um, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to check out the giveaway today only Tuesday, October the 4th, midnight. It ends like Cinderella. It goes away. And then we're going to draw a winner later this week to get that villains box out. Uh, check out the other channels that are reviewing it. And I hope to see you all soon on the next Disney afternoon.